you do a couple of angles with Los Bariquas and mock them and vandalize their locker room. The mocking of other teams. Uh, whose idea was that? Does that come from creative or are you bringing in presenting ideas that you think are funny? No, that was uh, Russo for sure. Russo. And, and look, it was another thing too. Like you got to think about how fast we were going at, at that time. Like we were, you know, if they're putting a rocket ship on you, they have you make fun of and then beat all the tag teams and, and steal their, you know, their, the Black Jack's hats. We right. stole the, uh, thunder, the uh, shoulder pads you just mentioned. However, rib was on us. We stole the shoulder pads. Then we had to carry them from town to town <laughs> in huge hockey pad bags. You know what I mean? And we literally had to carry those around and that was a rib on us, but you know, it didn't matter to me. I, we were carrying the road warrior shoulder pads around jokes on you. <laughs> You're amazing. paying me to do it. And that becomes checked baggage at that point because I yes. would love to see that De go for TSA. De definitely checked Hold baggage. Out of a bag. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with those spikes, you'd have to unscrew <laughs> the spikes. It was a, it was, I guess it was funny to them, you know. I, I remember as a kid, and I, I got to be like nine years old at this point, where someone would tell me that the spikes had a gimmick that squirted fake blood and stuff. <laughs> And I well, remember as a kid hearing this, and you look at the clip, and you'd be like, "There's no way he's getting spiked in his head and stuff." But yeah, yeah, no, you literally those are sh sharp as crap and metal, and uh, my pick, my kids had pictures with them on and everything, you know, uh, because it was the Road Warrior shoulder pads, you know. As you bring up those promos and the car rides, what's your process? Are you a pen and paper person or are you a verbalize and just keep those lines and, and, and things in your head and then start putting line after line together and building the memorization kind of thing? Look, I, nine times out of 10, I would come up with the rhymes for the city and then I would just kind of flow the rest of the way. So I wasn't a pen to paper guy. I did come up with words that would rhyme or something that, that, reminds me of that city uh like i don't know if anybody ever remembers north carolina being called north kakalaki uh but that was like i forget who the wrestler even was that said it but i'll never forget that so every time i had a promo with that in it i would say it like that you know what i mean like it would just be i would be have things that started me off like a catalyst but i w wouldn't put pen to paper but i'll tell you a story i, I you know john cena is probably the best promo guy i've ever uh seen and he was very much pen to paper and he was spend a lot of time with pen to paper with a writer um, and, and coming up with this stuff. That's, I mean, it's legendary, you know what I mean? And so it makes me think like, man, and John also was like big on his t-shirts and making sure they got new ones coming out at this time. And you know what I mean? Like he was a smart businessman. Um, I not, haven't look, that's not who I am now. It dang sure wasn't who I was then. <laughs> <laughs> you do a couple of angles with Los Bariquas and mock them and vandalize their locker room. The mocking of other teams. Uh, whose idea was that? Does that come from creative or are you bringing in presenting ideas that you think are funny? No, that was uh, Russo for sure. Russo. And, and look, it was another thing too. Like you got to think about how fast we were going at, at that time. Like we were... You know, if they're putting a rocket ship on you, they have you make fun of and then beat all the tag teams and and steal their, you know, their the Black Jack's hats. We right. stole the uh, thunder, the uh, shoulder pads you just mentioned. However, rib was on us. We stole the shoulder pads. Then we had to carry them from town to town <laughs> in huge hockey pad bags. You know what I mean? And we literally had to carry those around. And that was a rib on us. But, you know. It didn't matter to me. I We were carrying the Road Warrior shoulder pads around. Joke's on you. <laughs> I'm, you're paying me to do it. And that becomes checked baggage at that point because yes. I would love to just see that De go for TSA. De definitely checked pulled baggage. Pulled out of a bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With those spikes, you'd have to unscrew <laughs> the spikes. It was a, it was, I guess it was funny to them, you know. I, I remember as a kid, and I, I got to be like nine years old at this point, where someone would tell me, that the spikes had a gimmick that squirted fake blood and stuff. <laughs> and I well, remember as a kid hearing this, and you look at the clip and you'd be like, there's no way and he's getting spiked in his head and stuff. But yeah, yeah, no, you literally, those are sh sharp as crap and metal. And uh, my, pick, my kids had pictures with them on and everything, you know, uh, because it was the Road Warrior shoulder pads, you know.